All right, here we aim to answer the question of how much the Apple Vision Pro really costs Apple. Before that, we published a post discussing debates over the Apple Vision Pro's price. I recommend checking out that video too. There are three challenges to arriving at an accurate cost estimation here. The product has not been released yet, so no reverse engineering data is available. Some of the components used are being incorporated into a product for the first time, and there's no cost estimation available for them. And Apple has been very selective about sharing the specifications. Over time, we will learn more. Nonetheless, let's try to analyze the available data and come up with our best estimate. According to Bloomberg, given how expensive the technology is in the Vision Pro, it won't be an easy task to pull that off while making money. The $3,499 price of the Vision Pro is at or near the cost to make it. I believe Bloomberg is kind of exaggerating here. This might be true for the prototypes and first few thousand devices. However, we can confidently say that Apple only enters a market if it can be highly profitable. We'll revisit this point at the end of the video. The Vision Pro's most expensive components are its displays, accounting for nearly 50% of the component costs. The displays consist of internal micro OLED displays and external AMOLED panels. Reportedly, Sony supplies the costly internal micro OLED panels, around $350 per piece, with each device requiring two. LG Display provides the external OLED panels, which cost $30 each. This alone brings the display cost to $760. Let's frame this as a positive development. Sony's micro OLED silicon display represents a groundbreaking technology. Given its premium price tag, $350 for a 1.41 inch display, it's expected that other manufacturers like LG and Samsung will develop alternative, competitively priced displays with comparable performance. This should significantly reduce the Apple Vision Pro's cost over time. Behind each display of the Apple Vision Pro, there's a lens, an essential optical component that significantly influences the visual experience and form factor design. Each device will feature two 3P pancake modules, one for each eye. The lenses, which adjust their interpupillary distance, IPD, automatically, cost around $30 each, and the tracking and adjustment module adds another $20. So the outer display, two inner 4K displays, and their automatically adjustable lenses total $840. Moving on to the silicon content, the main contributor is the M2 processor, developed by Apple Silicon and also used in MacBooks. The estimated cost of the M2 is $120. The Apple Vision Pro is also equipped with a second companion processor, the R1 chip, also made by Apple Silicon, to process all sensor and camera data, estimated at $60, including other silicon components such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, power management ICs, and memory. The semiconductor components of the Apple Vision Pro adds up to $240. The third largest cost categories are sensors and cameras. The Apple Vision Pro features eight exterior cameras, two main cameras, four downward facing cameras, and two side cameras. Moreover, it includes IR illuminators, two depth cameras, and a lighter scanner for 3D mapping. Internally, it's equipped with four IR cameras and two LED illuminators for eye tracking. Sony supplies most of these sensors and cameras the same manufacturer providing the internal 4K micro LEDs. The total cost for the sensors and cameras is around $120. So let's do the math again. $840 for inner and outer displays including the lenses, $240 for the semiconductors, and $120 for cameras and sensors. The Apple Vision Pro comes with an external battery and a smaller internal battery. The total cost of the batteries will be around $18. Next is the spatial audio system, estimated to cost around $11. The housing, structural cost, PCBs, cables, connectors, and packaging, along with assembly costs, are estimated at about $170 and $130, respectively. Adding up all these costs, we arrive at an estimated total of $15.29. This is based on information from a Chinese source on Twitter, which I cross-validated with publicly available data on the internet and consolidated for you. This implies that Apple could have a gross margin of over 50% on this product. Gross margin only includes revenue and direct production costs and does not factor in operating expenses such as sales and marketing 
or other items like taxes or loan interest. Once these are added, we arrive at a net profit margin in the ballpark of 20-30%, aligning with Apple's financial results from previous quarters. If you enjoyed this content, please support me by subscribing to my channel and sharing its content. Hitting the like button will prompt the YouTube algorithm to promote my channel to a wider audience, so please do so. Thank you.